What's up guys? Today we are going to change an element on the screen based on our scroll position. And what I mean by this is we are going to use some JavaScript to check and see what our scroll position is. And if we have scrolled beyond whatever point we set, we are going to change something on the screen. I don't know what yet, but we'll change something on the screen. And if we are beneath whatever that scroll point is or the reverse of what we just did, we're going to set a different style. So let's go ahead and jump on into this video. All right, so I have the popular David Gurr website up right here. And what we're gonna do is we're basically just gonna change the background, just the HTML color uh, to something else when I am not scrolled up to the very, very top. So. Um, we're, we're gonna change it to like pink or something. So I've got the project downloaded and we're just gonna jump into the JavaScript right here. And we're just gonna write a few lines of code. So the first thing we're going to write is window.addEventListener. And we're gonna listen for the scroll event. So I'm gonna write scroll. Okay, then after that, we're going to run a function all right, right down here. And within here, let's go ahead and set a variable. So I'm gonna call this variable scroll. And then we're gonna write this scroll y. Uh, and that should be good there. And then next we're gonna go ahead and let's, let's console log scroll and just see what this is doing. So if we come over here, pull up the dev tools, refresh and scroll, you'll see every time you scroll, that number is getting logged within here. So even, let's see, when you load, so anytime the page loads, it's pulling it in as well. All right, so anyways, basically what we want to do is we want to change the background when it's above zero, because if it's above zero, that means you've scrolled. Um, so let's go back over to the JavaScript here and we'll remove this console log. And we're just going to write if scroll is greater than zero. We'll run this little bit of code. So I'm going to write document dot body dot style dot background color equals pink and you don't need to do all this realistically you could use this if statement to add a class to any HTML element so anyways let's go back over here uh, make sure we're all the way at the top refresh and let's see what happens when we scroll. Let me just get out of this and then I'll scroll. Okay, there we go. So we've changed the background to pink, but you'll notice whenever we scroll back up to the top, it's still pink and we don't want that. So all we need to do to fix that is we're gonna write an else statement here. Well, uh, yeah, and then we're just gonna basically write this same exact thing but we wish we just want to change it back to white so now i'm going to refresh the page so whenever you scroll anywhere it's pink and then when you scroll right back up to the top it's now white again and you can change this to be maybe if you wanted like 10 pixels now when you're here it won't change immediately when you scroll but once you get 10 pixels in it it changes again it could be it could be a thousand pixels, although I don't know if I have a thousand pixels on the screen. No, I don't. Hundred pixels. So you see how much extra scrolling space you have now. So this is uh, it, it it's nice. It works pretty well. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We've successfully changed the style of something on the screen once you've scrolled past a certain point. Now you might want to use a some JavaScript or jQuery 
in that function to add a class or remove a class is going to be much easier than changing everything in line but i just did that to prove a point to you and show you how that works but anyways i also know that this is not the most performant way to do this so be a little careful try not to use it too much uh, in a site i haven't found any issues using it once uh or maybe even twice in a few sites i'm i'm not too worried about that but there is some other things that we can take a look at on making this more performant make it work better uh by looking at this and going about it a different way it has to do with when an object intersects the screen so anyways that that should work a bit better um it should have better performance uh, but this is the nice quick simple easy way to get something done within a matter of seconds it's just a couple lines of code so anyways i hope this helped you i hope you learned something and if you're interested in learning about the uh other method of when something intersects in the screen leave a comment down below and let me know and hopefully we can jump into that soon until then i'll see you guys in the next one